All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know we behind, but you know what? Motherfuckers got jobs, and you know, when you got jobs and stuff, like, it ain't my job to do this stuff, man. So anyway, I know you guys wanted me and T. Mizzle to get together and do something, but um, instead of us playing together, I got all those videos. We're going to put those up in a few. I wanted to do a video where we're actually discussing something that you can get both of our um, perspectives Yes, on sir. things or whatever. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, man, for the people that don't know. This is the coldest. I'm going to tell you what. I don't play with a lot of people in the, in the 2K community. This is the coldest dude on the park I don't play with. I ain't saying he the best. I'm just saying he the best I don't play <laughs> with. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I play with a lot of cats, man. This is the coldest dude that I don't play with. He playing with a 69.4, man. So if you want to learn how Big to do body. that, exactly. Big go on body. over there to his page, <laughs> learn everything, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, go ahead and introduce yourself. Y'all don't man, know who I am, the, man. It's the instant burner, man. Like, that's what I'm trying. No, I'm, 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 I'm full of wish. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yes, man. It really is me. <laughs> Just in case you don't know who I am, man, it's me. It's so, a.k.a. the instant burner, man. I want to thank Jay Easy, man, for having me today, man, to rock with him, man. Cool dude, man. But, yeah, man, we're going to be talking about these archetypes or whatever you want to call them for the, for, for yeah. live or whatever you want to call yeah, them. Yeah, this is live, tw 20, uh, live 18. Uh, yes, play sir. style. I guess they call them play styles. I'm gonna call them archetypes, archetypes, because we know what they are. But they call them play styles. <laughs> it is what it is. Now let me just say yeah. right off the top, um, 2K, you need to get on your job and, and start doing what you do best and jacking everything that live does, including just straight up jacking Mike Wong from 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 live. So mm -hmm. you know, I mean, y'all did that already. So just get on your job and jack this. I might just tweet this at Mike. Hey, Mike, you remember this? But anyway, so check it out, man. <laughs> These are all the positions, you know, they got, uh, we just, we'll, we'll go from the top, from the beginning to the end, man. Um, in, a, in an effort to not make this a super long video, we're going to go through each one, and then we'll touch on everything or, or whatever. So, uh, just just straight up and down, man. Guards, one thing I do like is that you're not going to see a bunch of, like, 6'7". I got a 6'7 guard on mine. I'm, I'm cheesing it up. But, uh, you know, I, I like the fact that they try to, they're trying to they kind of stopping guard at 6'5". So, anyway, guard is smaller players who rely on speed and quickness along the perimeter. Plain and simple. 5'7 uh, mm -hmm. to 6'5". Boom. All right, so then we'll look at uh, wing players, 6'5 to 6'11". Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's about what you're going to expect from a wing. So, this is going to be your shooting guard, small forwards, whatever. And uh, then you got your big 6'8 to 7'11". To um, you know, which is ridiculous. I'm sure they're not going to have a 7'11 character on this game. Right. If they, Ooh, if they do... Yo, if they, there's the cheese. There's they, exactly. The cheese. If they do, he better have a one unit per second movement speed. So it might. It's gonna take him 94 seconds to get down the court. That's what better be. But uh, you know, it look. It appears that they have four four um, play styles or four archetypes in each one. So we just we just gonna hit up. I'm, I'm gonna start off with guards. Um, and, and you know we are gonna go from there, man. Now the the one that everybody's probably gonna claim that they wanna play, but they're really not gonna wanna play is the Steph Curry type. And I'm, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna show you, show you why. Because uh, this point it says point guard, you know, scores from downtown like Steph Curry and push the offense mm -hmm. and and dribble skills. Okay, sounds good. Everybody wants to do that. Primary skills: three point shot, passing. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, mid range <laughs> shot, dribbling. Oh, we, we know y'all dribble that's what, guys. Hey, that's what everybody wants. I, want. I, I want that. All right. Steal. Uh, secondary steals, inside shot, and our uh, contested shot traits. Quick pass, yeah, right. Uh, sure handles and free throw. Now, everybody this year wanted to be a playmaker, claimed they wanted to be a playmaker, but they didn't want to be a playmaker. They just wanted to be able to dribble, shoot, and dunk on people and shoot threes. Mm -hmm. And when playmakers couldn't do that that well, everybody made speed boosts and uh, point guards that could do that. Now, the reason that I say that people are going to say that they want to play this, and I would like to see more people play this, because it says his, uh, you know, his, his special ability, give and take. Getting an assist gives you a stackable three-point boost to your uh, to your three-point shooting ability. Whatever. So the more you pass the ball and get other people involved, oh, the better. Oh, nobody want to do that. Oh, exactly. <laughs> the better that you can score. <laughs> ain't nobody want to do that. A exactly. I mean, you know. All about uh, cooking. <clears throat> exactly. If I can, I can cook, but I can't finish. Well, you can finish. You just can't finish until you get everybody else involved, which is fine. We're gonna go on to the next one, man. We'll we'll we'll, we'll come back and do a. Uh, uh, do something at the end. Slasher, slasher guard. This is what probably a lot of people are gonna want to do: driving into the lane and passing to the to open open teammates will grant them large. No, grant them, not you. Grant them <laughs> large, large bonuses for catch and shoot situations. Now, 
he, he got some of the stuff that y'all gonna want that the dribble guards gonna want layups okay dribbling oh yeah I'm with that mm -hmm. inside and mid range shot okay they'll claim they want that three point is nowhere near his stuff so he got draw foul contested shot sure handles uh, and then secondary yeah. secondary skill is passing I'm sleep Okay, uh, shout out dribble. Shout out on dribble. Ball yeah, so mm -hmm. on ball defense, which they don't care about I, defense. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. If I was picking one, <laughs> this would probably be the one I would pick, bro. Right, right. I'm not I'm not gonna lie because the steel, if y'all think the steel system is bad in 2K, it's a million times worse in live. So you're gonna be dunking on anybody. 7 Eleven doesn't yeah. matter. He's he's getting dunked on with this one. This is probably gonna be the most OP. It's probably not gonna be the most used at the, at the beginning. But if right. it's somebody that plays live, this is probably gonna be the one that's the most OP, in my opinion, just by looking at it. If you're gonna, if you're looking for a guard, if you're not right. looking for a wing. Right, and I mean, and you're gonna be able to pass the ball and, and help your players out. So it's, it, he's really the draw and kick master, man. That's what he's doing. Yeah. But he doesn't get mm -hmm. any, he doesn't get any boost to his offense by by playing well or by helping other people out. So I don't know if people are gonna do it because this will be the one that most people in the 2K community claim they want. But I don't think yeah. most people are gonna do it. But it is what yeah. it is. Back to here mm -hmm. to the one that nobody's gonna choose: backcourt <laughs> defender. Now this is this <laughs> might be one that I would choose, right? But uh, backcourt defender Mike Cunley Jr. and that scruffy ass beard. All right, so we got on ball defense, good <laughs> dribbling, good stealing and passing. Okay, layup and three point shot inside shot a second. He doesn't have a mid range at all. It doesn't appear appear to be. He got corner specialist rebounding and uh, and no foul. So I guess you can reach all day without fouling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's what that means. That's what y'all do anyway. Speaking of which, they need to do something about reaching in the park this next year, man. I don't know if it's like after five fouls we can get a free throw or something. Because y'all, boy, boy. <laughs> no no spamming something, man. Yo, they, they reach do so something. much this year. It's ridiculous. You can't even get your offense going. But anyway, that's that's something for another day. Yeah, a cool just... down or something. Hey, a cool down would hey, be a cool. A cool down would be cool. Right, a right. cool down. Hey, I can rock with that. A... Yeah, you can only reach. You can't reach every time. You can only reach a little bit here and there. Reach every five yeah. seconds or something. Because that shit yeah. is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't And don't put that cool down in there and don't reference this video, 2K. Anyway, successful defensive contest steals or blocks gives a stackable boost to your three-point shooting. So you get to be that 3 and D guy that everybody claimed they wanted, but I don't think people just wanted the 3 and D guy. I think they wanted it for free. I don't think they wanted to work for the, the three. I think they just wanted to have 3 and D and be like, well, I can I can make everything else work. But, I, but they don't want to work and be like, well, I can't shoot threes until I start playing great defense. So, yeah. you know, I wonder if they're going to take the boost away from you if you if you get if you get cooked, though. So, I mean... <laughs> For real, that's what it's... Hey, this one, like, this might be the best, though, so... Right, right, right. Just because, to be honest. Yeah, you get a boost to your three. I mean, it, and if you, if you, if you it, like, for a point guard like me, that would be perfect for me because I like to be play defense first. I just wish my lockdown defender point guard could shoot. He can't shoot shoot threes. Yeah. And, like, you. it's hard to be a playmaker or even a guard in this game if you can't shoot from deep. It's, it's really yeah, hard. Exactly. Then, you, then you got the playmaking pocket pass to the John Wall, man. And uh, you know it says passing to, his 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 basic ability passing the teammates in the catch and shoot situation or finish situation give that player a, a boost. So this again you give them boost um, just mm -hmm. by your playmaking. You don't have to get into the lane, I guess, with this. And he gets dribbling, passing, layup, steal, uh, on ball defense, mid range shot, inside shot. You know he's he's mid range and all of that, and then sure handle. So I guess you're gonna take the ball from him, uh, contested shot and quick passes. I think that. This will probably be the least used one because I really feel like a lot of people are going to take that bait with give and take and they're not going to really realize how much give and take it's going to mm -hmm. take. You know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. probably going to be like, I, I can make five passes and now I can shoot threes from half court. I'm with it. Yeah. Which, which I hope you have to continuously pass the ball in order to yeah. take advantage of that because I can't deal with somebody. I'm not going to be able to deal with somebody. I'm going to get the first five passes of the game or somebody else. You know, he's going to spread the ball around for the first five passes and then the rest of the game. Yeah, he doesn't have take to take over. Right, right. Yeah. So that's going to have to have a cool down too. So it's going to have to be like, hey, if you don't get an assist within two or three possessions or something, you know, you, those yeah. those got to fall off or something. I don't know, but. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is interesting, man. Yeah. They're trying to, they trying to implement trying to get away from all this dribbling that they see on 2k that's what right. you can see from all these archetypes I'm trying to get away from that dribbling but that's still in everybody's dna especially the young kids man that's what they want to do and they want to dribble 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 yeah. exactly and so, so it's gonna you know, be hard and so you said you're probably gonna play i i, I think i would probably play either the mike Conley jr or the steph curry one 
where I'm either gonna um, mm-hmm. where I'm drawing and kicking or or playing defense. But I know I pass a lot, so and I set a lot of people up. I hit people open for passes, so it would be nothing mm-hmm. for me to get mine. And then just just for me to pass, 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 and then know that when I finally do take a shot, maybe when you take that shot, it's gonna exhaust it all. All that boost, and then you got to gain your boost again. I mean, that would be cool too. You just cash yeah. them in at one time, but uh, or if you get yeah, like yeah. 15 assists in a row or something, then you know, let's say it, they fall off in stacks of five at a time, that would be cool. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, this is this is this is a lot of attributes. I hope it's consistent, man. Because look at this, this is a lot of stuff going into your shooting, passing. I just hope the stuff is consistent, unlike right. 2K, you know, right? None of that's consistent, right? If you do what your player's <laughs> supposed to do, then you're supposed to be able to get. Get those yeah. boosts, which I ain't even yeah. mad at. Then we got Clay, Clay, which you know, this is the type of player that I had made this year with my own PlayStation. At least I'm thinking about making a sharp shooting point guard and go to Sunset so I can speed boost and just cheese it all the way up. But uh, you know, I mean, why not, right? But uh, yeah, everybody else doing it exactly. But uh, you know, so this is, I mean, his main ability is gonna be get open, and it says pretty much the longer that you're open, the better chance you got of hitting the shot. I don't, I don't see a problem mm. with that. And then uh, you know he got you know he's got all the abilities. Y'all see the abilities, three point shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pretty much like a spot up shooter. That's what it's looking. Exactly. Pretty much like a, yeah, three points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's what he is a spot up shooter, mid range. You know he got all the shooting stuff. He gets passing, rebounding. I, mean, I know that's cut off a little bit, but y'all live. Y'all know what it is. Y'all don't seen the stuff. Uh, on ball defense. So he is a three and D guy, more or less. Mm-hmm. Secondary is defense, mm-hmm. passing and rebound, quick passing, late to the party. And uh, free throw. That, that late to the party, I'm just guessing that's when you roll up late uh, on the secondary yeah, break. The trailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You trail on the break. You know, I always say it's rolling up yes. late, but you know. So it's pretty much like the sharpshooter. That's what it's looking for. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sharpshooter. Yeah, exactly. Because the sharpshooter had good defense this year. A lot of people don't know it, but the sharpshooter had like the second, the third best defense and like the second mm-hmm. best rebounding and uh, strength yeah. in the game. So, so you yeah. know, that was cool. Then you got uh you got your boy Demar Derozan man the wing score I mean this is a pretty good one too he can score any way he wants to but the more score the more you score in the paint the better your outside game become and that's just like Demar Derozan is a lot of players for real life. yeah like AI life. you know how AI used to be man he see a couple shots fall and then he start heating up it's getting it's, it's, it's time to cook mm-hmm. you know that's, yeah, exactly and, and so his his range seemed to expand with how he scores so you know I mean then, like you said you start off with layups inside shots and dribbling and all that good stuff. Then you mm-hmm. go, uh, you get contested shots, shot all dribble, and then your traits are dunking, drawing fouls, and um, and on mm-hmm. ball defense. I want to see how they own how the drawing fouls is really gonna work. I guess they're saying that the, the, like the wreck is really gonna be the Drew League. I guess is what they're gonna call. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's looking it's, like. Yeah, yeah like, it's gonna really be a game. big part because I've seen a mm-hmm. lot. I have seen mm-hmm. a lot of players with that. You know, a few players with draw foul or like uh, when we get to down low to the low players. You know, it's gonna be the uh, can't touch. And stuff like that, no touching and all that. So it, it's gonna be something else. You know, you got the two way impact player. You got a uh, which is, I mean, come on, man, we know who it is. It's Kawhi. And they said a successful defensive contest steal or block gives a stackable boost to your dribbling and finishing. This is something I probably see you playing more because this is pretty much like your dude right now. You know, it's like yeah. it's yeah. like the better you play defense. You know, you got steals, blocks, on ball defense, and you know, going to the rack. Then you get better. You know, you you you'll be able to shoot better, and finish better. And three point shot is you know secondary, and then traits of dribbling, no foul, and dunk. And I, like I said, I see there's no foul being somebody that can that can reach more yeah. than the average person. So you know, mm-hmm. like like that's something I probably see you doing. Or this one, either this one here, the the, the mismatch. You know, the hybrid wing. You know, one of the big yeah. wings, and he got the mismatch where if he's smaller than you, I mean, this is what his joint is, mismatch. He's, if you're smaller, yeah, yeah. he take you inside. Yeah, I was going yeah. yeah, to admit that early. I like big players. Exactly. <laughs> so, hey, he's smaller, yeah. he taking you on the perimeter. I mean, he, he taking you inside. If, you, if you're if you bigger, he going to take you uh, take you on the mm-hmm. perimeter. That's just what smart players do. I like that because it's like they're catering to the thinking players, I guess, almost. So, you know, mm-hmm. it is what it is. And then, you know, you get layup, rebound, and mid-range shot, inside shot. You don't see three pointers, but I guess they really want it to be um, it a dribbling on ball defense and post moves. You, know, you got to have post moves. Then you got well, yeah. you get corner three. You get corner three and uh, passing and dunking. But you know, I, I feel like that's that's gonna be like it's like the diversity, I guess. But um, which one? Yeah. Do you see, which one do you think you 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 will probably end up playing the most? Probably, probably this one right here, man. Probably the probably care too much about threes like 
for this. Yeah. I'm just trying to. I like I like big players as y'all can see. Man. Oh, yeah. I, I love big players. I like being able to do everything on the court, man. This one, this one, or the two way Kawhi, bro, would probably be the one if I had to if I had to pick right now. Start my player. Those right. are probably the ones I would pick. Cause I got I got to be big, man. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's 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 definitely one of those two, probably the mismatch. I'm leaning towards mismatch, man. That's what I'm leaning towards. Yeah, I want to be at least six, eight, six, nine. Something like that. Right, right. I definitely understand that. You know, if if it were me, if I if I choose to play the three, I'd probably go with the Kawhi or Clay because this is mm-hmm. what I played this year. I played a lockdown defender and a big and a big uh, shooter mm-hmm. this year. So you know, that's where I was on that. And then finally, we come down here to the big man. Please, please, EA, take that six eleven off. Can we do that? I mean, seven eleven. Ain't nobody. Yeah, what? Is or make him be. Or make him be ungodly slow and with with like injury of like ninety nine or one, whatever the whatever the <laughs> highest injury is. Like, <laughs> like a uh, y'all mean. Exactly. We don't need them dudes in the game, mm. man. Seven three seven four be the best, and then do it like two K did, where the taller you are, I mean, you just god awful slow, and your lateral quickness is non existent. You know. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, getting right into it, man. We get the DeAndre Jordan. With the uh, rim, big rim protector. I like that, man, with the Intimidator badge. Your presence anywhere near the paint will force opponents to shoot less accurately accurately around the uh, basket. Now, I like that because it's almost like free defense, but at the same time, you know, if you have a rim protector, you want your rim protector to protect the rim. Like, that's what you want. So, I mean, he gets shot blocking, rebounding, post defense, dunk, secondary, steals, passing, and uh, own ball defense. So it looks like he really has, like, don't expect to score with this man because he he literally has no scoring traits. The only thing he does, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Like, the, uh, he for got real, dunking, I guess, but the only thing he has is alter shots. But that's just like DeAndre Jordan. You ain't seeing DeAndre roll up and shoot a, a mid-range or something. If you do, something is going horribly wrong. But, you know, I mean, neither Shot one clock. of us, yeah, Shit. neither one of us really play bigs like that anyway. I mean, you got the stretch four, which is, which is Kevin, uh, Kevin Love, you know, grabbing rebounds, give you a temporary boost to your three-point three, three point ability, so you get three-point mid-range, contested rebounding, obviously. Then Kevin Love is an underrated passer, um, and I'll tell you what I think that's going to be, inside shot and layup, uh, even though those, those will probably be high. Way back is probably just limitless range. Way uh, back. <laughs> throw, I know, right? Free throw and pick, pick and pop, obviously. I think that, um, I think that, that you're going to have extra passing because I think it's probably going to be just like this year where stretch bigs really got no business going up inside unless they got it there on. It's, that's on them is like 6-1 or something like that. So I, I feel yeah. like it's you know, you're going to have to get that rebound and kick it out or something like that yeah. unless you just wide open for a layup. So I think that's what that's going to be. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get the headband, the little hairband like Kevin Love wears, but hey, that'll, you know, that'll be kind of how. I mean, you got it on your guy with the man bun looking like uh, Schlatan out there, but you know it is what it is. Uh, don't let it don't let it fool you, man. No, that please. boy's an assassin. Well, He's an assassin. Please don't let that fool you. Don't let the triple fat goose and the uh, <laughs> and the man bun fool you. All right, so now we got on the paint. This looks like a, a good two-way player, man. Um, yeah. You know, down there. So he's gonna be get get rebounds or, or a block gives you gives you a shot. Hold up, block shots give you boost on rebounding, blocking, and inside shooting. So the more you do, the more you, the more mm-hmm. you, the more you do, the more you get. You know, but but this is like a paint anchor. Um, I mean, I, I I ain't even mad at that because it's like the post score, but you get some defensive attributes because I'm mean, gonna lay up, lay up, rebounding, post defense, and all that good stuff. What was that post post moves? Uh, shot blocking inside shot and uh and passing and then you get mid range shot. Okay, so this is like the post score, but you're giving up some of the intimidation. I mean, it's like the po- the paint protector, but you're giving up some of the intimidation for some offensive mm-hmm. game, which is fine. I like that post vision too. So when you make passes out of the post, you probably don't get you probably won't get stripped as much in the post and stuff like that. Pick and roll, obviously, and mid range shot. So I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. And I think we got one more, or is that all? And then we get Boogie Cousins, ladies and gentlemen. Hot in the post, Mr. Black Hole. When it go in, it ain't coming, bike out. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> the score to the post increases effectiveness for, for post moves as well as shooting accurately in the post. So the more you score, the better you can score. So, yeah. It, this, 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 this ain't no two-way player by any stretch of the imagination. And you look at what post moves, layups, inside shot, mid-range, contested shot, rebounding, post defense, secondary. No touching. He gets dribbling and then he gets uh draw foul. I mean that's the last one. But I guess like I said, 
that must be like for the Drew League and stuff like that. No touching is probably where you just can't be too physical with him when he's going up, which is cool. I just want to know yeah. how they're going to have to tweak that or um or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, that's going to be real interesting, man. But looking at everything, so so let's just recap. Which players? I don't think either one of us going to touch the big man. I, I, I definitely don't plan to. If I do touch the big man, I tell you right now, I'm probably going to go with post anchor. But I might yeah, go exactly in, I yeah. But I might go with intimidator, depending on. I might go with with, a, with like a six ten uh, power forward, like Dennis yeah. Rodman or something uh-huh. like that, and just be a straight up intimidator, and uh, don't even worry about my offense again. Because you know how it is with in these games, man. Depending on the players that you're playing with, you might exactly. not even. Yeah, you know. So it'll it'll it'll, it'll depend. But, yeah, uh, and I think this will I also depend on what game mode you're playing, also too. Exactly. Exactly. If, you, if you're on the pro am or if you're doing different type games so that, right that's also gonna play an effect of what, what position you play right right but yeah I, i'm lean, i will lean it towards the post anchor he seems like he he can do the most exactly and that's then, a little offensive game and defensive exactly. has both bat have both badges yeah that's what i would right. definitely lean towards and and like i said i don't even mind being the guy that don't even touch the ball just dunk on everybody and just play defense just don't let anybody score in the post i think a post i think that intimidator everybody's gonna need one or wish they had one but at mm-hmm. the same time, not everybody's gonna be willing to play it. I, I do the dirty work, like and mm-hmm. you know in the middle we already said you would probably be the hybrid wing. I'll probably be the defender slash. I know I'm not gonna touch wing score because that's just not my play style. I don't go to the rim that much, yeah. and and I don't shoot the ball that much. I'm really more of a I'm gonna wait on wait to see what you guys need to do. I'm the bailout person. Like the bailout yeah. person, it sucks being the bailout person to some people, but you're happy that you got somebody that. Damn, I ain't got nothing, but he's open, so I'm gonna kick it to him, and that person can knock the shot down. Like, like that's that's what I'm doing. And then then I have boost on defense, so you know, I mean, yeah. I'm I'm cool with that. Yeah. Plus, you need people that's not gonna be on that diva level. I gotta have the crying. Exactly. Yeah, you need some type people. <laughs> exactly. So I'm I'm cool with being a role player. And then, like yeah. I said, with the point guards, if I went with a point guard, it'd probably be the Steph Curry because I, I plan on pay order or. Well, I could play anyone. I could see myself playing any one of these point guards. I'm not gonna lie to you, because yeah. but but I like the fact that everything that they do is you got to give the ball up in order to get. <laughs> yeah, something. that's crazy. Like yeah. I, I like that because you get a lot of people in 2K and these games, and they only want to play point guard because they want to dominate the basketball. And mm-hmm. you know, like if you don't get a ball up early when somebody's broken down the floor in transition and stuff like that, like. That that nerves me to death, man. Death, man. But you know it is what it is, man. Like I said, uh, y'all go. Oh yeah, go go ahead and tell them some some of your thoughts on this whole thing, man. I don't I don't talk the whole video like in my video. Yeah. This this hours. I mean, this like 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 we was talking before the video. Great concept thing with with live. It, it's it's like it's like you making Kool Aid without the pitcher. You know, you, right. they gotta they gotta pretty much they they gotta get to the core first before they go trying to copy 2k they got to worry about these player models they got to do things they got to get a new they got to get a new engine stuff right. like that because nobody's gonna care about all these stats if the game still looks like it's trash which right. it, it does i mean i mean they they are they are making strides i will give them that but the game still looks trash nobody's gonna care about any of this stuff until they fix that take a year off take two years off take three if you need you know what I'm right saying? because because right now you're not in you're not even in the race nobody's even looking at live i mean they might look at the trailer but once they look at the trailer they're gonna be like ah oh, it looks it looks better than it usually does but i'm still not buying it i'll right. play the demo because the demo's gonna come out before 2k so it's it's new basketball but after that right. it's dead yeah. you know so so they need to fix that man just take some years off do what you gotta do go talk to battlefield or, or one of their engines go talk to those guys get their engine because there's no way that this game should be so trash when you have when you have games like battlefield that look amazing man does they come look up way better right yeah they come out the same studio man look way better than 2k y'all they should be killing 2k right now right 2k I, should be in the water so that's what they need to do before they even worry about this but like i said it, it is a good concept it's yeah it's I, I like the way that they're getting away from trying to ball hog with all these guards but right yeah they, they need to they need to work on that first and i got two words for them motion capture <laughs> exactly it, it seemed like four words but it's really two y'all can look it up motion capture 
Like, they still don't even motion cap with Madden, I don't think. I don't think they mo cap anything with me. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. But I just remember them saying stuff like they, they just do composite, composite stuff. They don't really motion what? capture, like, everything. And like I said, I could be completely wrong. But with Madden, we had the animatronic-looking people forever. Like, with these jump, <laughs> with these jump shots... And this is going to be a separate video. Like, on the, when you go back and watch the game, you're like, okay, the dribbling isn't that bad. Okay, he made a nice layup. LeBron made a nice layup. That's not too bad, right? And then you're like, okay, well, the dribbling looks looks a little stiff, but I can get by that. When James mm -hmm. Harden takes the jump shot and his oh legs God. are locked and he's in a mm -hmm. fixed position until you let the ball go and he looks like the, look like, uh, the dude from from uh, Price is Right going up the pole, the yodeling dude. <laughs> like, that's not cool, man. Like, nobody wants to play that game. Like, that part is enough for me to say I can't I can't do it. So if you don't do mm -hmm. anything else, let's mo-cap some jump shots. If you start mm -hmm. with the jump shots, we don't care about the crossovers and stuff. It, it, it is what it is, the reaching, all this stuff, how stuff go. Like, mo-cap the jump shots, at least. Or at mm -hmm. least, or at least make them fluid and realistic. Because we don't want to see somebody just pick the ball up and doop, and it's just locked. And like I said, tomorrow I got a video for y'all tomorrow and I'll show y'all that on later on today, whatever day I put this out. Um, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But when it's like locked like that and he's just going up the meter, and maybe it will be different because I didn't play the demo from a couple of years ago, but it is what it is. We just want basketball competition. You got some great exactly. ideas here. Like all these archetypes are things that I would like to see implemented into 2k immediately maybe y'all guys just need to get together and make the same damn basketball game take you guys ideas take your superior ideas and mesh it with 2k's superior presentation and gameplay and maybe we'll oh, have they, a good game or something like that yeah, but no, they ain't gonna do that you know, we already know what they're they, they'll buy the whole license before they do that we know that they, just, <laughs> they did it with man so you know yeah I, I don't know man like like something has to be done but competition is good so I want to see competition, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I just don't know that this is going to be that competition. But yeah, um, exactly. like I said, 2K, I mean, not 2K, live, we can deal with everything, but make those jump shots a little bit more free-flowing and free-form. Just mm -hmm. lock legs on jump shots, and it literally looks like he's sitting on a pole, and somebody just, <laughs> like, that That ain't a good look, man. But like I said, that's, yeah. that's another video, man. But uh, pardon in, in part, anything else you want to say, Mr. Mills? I'm, I'm sorry. Nah. <laughs> nah, man. Just thank thank you for having me, man. No, no, no. I mean, you're going to be on here a lot more anyway, man, since, since you know. I mean, sometimes I play with people and I'm like, yeah, that didn't go well. So, you know, that is what it is. But, you know, you want to guys, like I said, hey, it, it ended up being a good experience. So, I, I expect to have you around a whole lot more as much as you want to be around and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. You know, I'm all always down for the cause. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Go to T-Mizzle's channel. Look at that jump shot. It's, it's cash. Look at uh, yes, sir. Look at his bill for the 6 9 it's, it's a nice bill. And y'all going to see yes, some videos sir. coming up later of us playing together. And you're going to see what that 6 9 can do. I mean, that dude is stupid. Like I said, it's dude cold, man. He's one of the coldest dudes I done played with that, that plays the lead guard position, man. I ain't going to lie. Anyway, man, we gone. Y'all take it easy. And uh, right. we out of here.